Okay, in this video, I'm going to make it short, sweet, and to the point. I'll be doing a live, and I'll be doing further videos on this subject matter tomorrow. So with this being said, we're going to talk about Brad Holder, his group, talk about Unzeus, which is the rune representing Odin himself. And here we go. We're going to start with Brad Holder and his friends. As you can see, um, Donis Woke, among others that go back to friends and in around the Kokomo drug ring. We're going to talk about Gabriel Ellis. July 27, 2016. Him, Kyle Stacy, and Jason Clogger, Jeff Ketris, the other ones tagged in what you just seen. And this is where it gets kind of concerning. This is after Karina McQuirkin's case. You got individuals like Gabrielis, said to be involved with Karina's, that got a hold of Kyle Stacy, aka Juicy Kyle, to get a hot shot to make sure Karina was dead after her uh, murder. And he was mean, I F you not. It, brother, but we did become uh, did become blood brothers. Hmm. If you know anything about the blood brothers ordeal, you've had to been going into AK war and bloodshed during war, either yours or the enemies, to become blood brothers. Uh, blood Brothers. And I wanted to bring up something. And if you can see this. This issue when it comes to Brad Holder. Uh, more, not Brad Holder, but more towards Gabrielis and his buddies. If you knew this group, the Kokomo Crew... And the Kokomo Drug Ring, individuals in and around it, before the Sons of Odin Motorcycle Club is what they're trying to represent. That's what this is easily sold at, like Hot Topic, uh, places like Walmart online, is the Sons of Odin is a motorcycle club. That's what they're trying to represent. Before the Sons of Odin Motorcycle Club merchandise purchases and trying to act like it, Google it, trying to be that life, they were doing Sons of Silence. Got shut down. Some real people kind of spoke up and was like, no, you're not going to represent something or not. And that's exactly what they changed and went to Sons of Odin, started biting. Uh, merchandise and thinking that the purchase of this merchandise makes them along with some Google searches on how to some YouTube videos makes them pagans makes them Odinist hmm but back to the uh, issue at hand February 11, 2016. I'm going to look this book up. The Book of Troth. And. What is the like, likelihood. I thought it was two different groups. I'm starting to wonder if it's one and the same. Because the friends. They go back to Gabe Ellis. And that drug ring. Of Brad Holders. Then you got. Gabrielis' little group 
all talking about Enzus. Godmouth is a very powerful rune with much to teach us on many levels. And this is pretty much a readout of an individual. And if you look at this rune, oh, but yeah, if you look at this rune, that looks like what? An F on a tree? But what is the likelihood? Like I said, I at first thought it was two different groups. One that lives, eats, breathes the life, and the other one that's using it. They just recently got into it, don't know what they're doing. But when I started seeing the friends, the ties back to the drug ring, and you got an individual. That was even over Keegan. Paid him to go do a job in Vegas. It wasn't weed. It was meth. It was a pickup. And he got paid a nice healthy bit to go pick it up and bring it back. I got a live video with uh, Blaine Nelson. A dealer right beside Gabe. Consider Gabe's his brother. Gabe's daughter, his niece, without being blood relation. <clears throat> and then his mom actually looked into it and was listening to what I said, and even she was noticing. Blaine was choosing the gang family, that issue, over his own family. But what is the likelihood of more than one individual talking and showing about the same rune that was supposed to be put on the tree? And as you see here, what does that rune look like? It's on a what tree? We're going to keep going. Let you read this. And... If you look like at the re reverse version of this rune, an issue that's actually talking about it goes back to the motive Gabrielis and his bunch would have to do the crime. When you, as they look at it, falsify and use your mouth for misdirection, and such, this group has acted on less. The same group is the exact same group that I showed the prosecutor. Hey, look at this network analysis back in around this drug ring when it comes to Nicole Bowen's case with Garrett Kurtz. If you take the time and actually look up what I've been showing, like network analysis, this little group that the law tries to hide from the public is a network of nothing but drug dealers, users, kingpins, and the like. And around this drug ring. It's not just the Sons of Odin issue. The Indiana Tears Hellhounds. It's just sick. But like I said, why does that look like it's on a tree just like it was done at the crime scene? And there's some people that uh, he tagged in this. But I do want you to sit and think about it. What's the likelihood two days before the girl's case you've got the before and after 
the same group, just a bunch of names that have not been said yet. We're talking about the same room. As you see here. Put on a tree. Hmm? What is the likelihood? What is the odds? They are one and the same, just more names that have yet to be said. Yet this group had motive, not only for Delphi, not only for Corrine McClurkins, but it goes to Flora. Gabrielis supplied dealers like Derek German, Del Wood, Joshua Link, Brent McClellan, William Duff. Some of these names are prominent names there in Delphi. In 2018, they ruled this child predator, Gabriel Ellis, out. But yet, look what they did to the man over in Lafayette made him national news for being child predator. Huh. But another child predator, they're going to silently kick him to the side. Not only does he have motive, but he supplied to more than one prominent family. Look at the black eye. He sustained less than 24 hours after the girl's case. His eyes started to blacken, the swelling, the trauma from the nose to the cheek. <coughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get over cold. My hands down. Open your eyes. I'll be doing a live today.